like, yeah, you to help. That's why I got to give you money. But really the agreement, you're giving me $800 a month because my budget was 15. You want me to have a house close to you. The house is $2,300 a month. So let's continue. Whatever type of person, it is what it is type of person. That's really me. So, y'all, I don't know how to do that. Y'all know I don't be on here, so I don't know how to turn off comments. Uh, moderator, can you, can you do that? Because I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that's what it was. There was no payroll for assistant. Like, I'm just working for her. Da, 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 da. I did what friends do. Show up for my friend. You need me to make a logo, I'm going to do it. If you need me to show up here, I'm going to do it. If you need me to do this, I'm going to do it. Those times I was flying out with her to help her on business stuff, never got paid. I'm paying babysitters. I'm leaving my children because she needs me. You're the only person I trust. You're the only person I want here. But never received payment. But I'm going to tell you what triggered me, y'all. That $7,000. I keep seeing that, and for some reason, she muted y'all. Y'all make sure y'all like the video too. Comment back. Let me know what y'all thinking and so um everything. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me focus. Y'all know I have ADHD. Okay. Okay. Let me, me focus. too. So um, dang, somebody remind me what I was saying. It's so much. It's just so much, y'all. I've been holding seven thousand dollars, Ayana. You were speaking of seven thousand dollars. Somebody sent me the most hateful message, and I was like, you know what? I'm over it. Okay, so the seven thousand dollars. Okay, so I had been saying that I would have paid for the house. Like, you know, I would have paid for the house. Like, you know, I would have paid for the house. Like, you know, I would have paid for the house. Like, you know, I would have paid for the house. And then she put his card on her PayPal, and she said, sis, I'm going to send you $7,000. You take the $7,000 and give it to me. I'm getting my money back from, from him. That's what happened. And I said, it, it's not going to bounce, right, because I'm not trying to be responsible. And she said, no. I went to the ATM. I got that money. I remember, relax for a second, okay? I got that money off, and I gave her that $7,000. Now, for the dimbos who wanted to post all of the, this vacation stuff saying she don't owe me nothing, that was theft. Okay, to this day, I owe PayPal seven thousand dollars. If y'all don't know anything about being in a negative balance, negative seven comma zero 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 means if you replace seven thousand dollars back into a negative seven comma zero 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 account, it goes to zero dollars. So for the crew over there that was saying, I just wanted to give me money, I, I there is no profits for me. Okay, right now I am at a loss. Okay, it is a loss of seven thousand dollars because the seven thousand dollars that she took for him that I don't know if he disputed it or she disputed it, but I was responsible for that seven thousand dollars. This day it is September fourth, two thousand and twenty four. I am still responsible for the seven thousand dollars. It irritated me when I'm like I told her, Hey, pay PayPal took this money away. She messages me, I'm dying my hair black. I'm about to dye my hair this black. And I was literally like I'm literally like, what? Completely ignore me, okay? I'm a single mother of three kids, okay? I need all of my dollars. I need all of my dollars. So to this day, and I was going to go to court, but one thing I do know is that, one, I just don't like the process of court. So that's another issue. But that's the seed that she planted, and that seed will grow. And it, she will reap off of that, okay? And I'm just going to charge it to the game. God will provide and take care of me on that $7,000, okay? She, it ain't been in her heart to get that balance to zero yet, and that's okay. So, that happened. Um, y'all, I'm all over the place, y'all. I just can't remember. I can't remember. It's just too much. It's too much. Okay, so let's just talk about the reason why I even decided to walk away. Because a lot of people have that. Oh, you know what? Before that. Let's talk about this new picture. Because I'm talking about everything y'all been blaming on me. Amora, a few months back, stated that I went in her phone and I sent this new picture to people in her phone. First of all, I'm not interested in nothing that that man got. Second of all, what does that do for me? Okay, so for them to even have that theory and for that theory to be rolled on is sick and disgusting. And y'all need mental, psychological evaluations for y'all to even fix your mouth and blame that on me. Okay? I did get the picture. She called me in January. She was on the phone to pick up her new boo that she currently has that she currently has right now from the airport. She calls me laughing and says she has sent the picture. Now, mind you, two people that she had already sent the picture to 
picture. We know that you're close to her. We're not going to post the picture. I advise them not to post the picture. Don't post that picture because y'all have families. If they decide they want to speak on it, they can't. I told them don't do it. She caught me laughing, and I said, listen, you don't need to do that. Y'all was on FaceTime. They don't know that picture came from you. She said, well, I'm going to have mixed styles post the picture. And I said, well, I don't think that you should do that. Cool. Okay, this was in January. She also sent me the picture. So when she said that, I went to my call log. I screenshotted the phone call that I had at the time the picture got sent and the text messages. So if it ever, if he ever decided that he wanted to pursue charges on me because of what they said, I would have my ducks in a row. But the fact that they let that go on when you know I didn't send that picture out. And to blame that on me is sick, okay? So that was the news. Now, the reason why it was even an issue with me and why I had to remove myself out of the situation, okay? We always do our New Year's prayer in January. January, I pray, God, please, you know, your normal prayer, remove everybody out of my life. That's not no good. All right, let me just stop right there and get updated. So she's talking about the picture, you know, where Brianna took a picture of the truth when he's kind of fresh out the shower, took a picture of his genitals, called it a shrimp, sent it to people, and she wanted her crew to also post it. Um, Ayana let her know she wasn't comfortable with that. She let the group know she wasn't comfortable with that. She screenshotted where, you know, she was told to post it, but she didn't post it. And so she wants to clear her name on the fact that people are saying she's the one that put it out. She's saying she is not. Um, <clears throat> revenge porn. It's usually not even done by us women, but yeah, that's a no. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is, if he had a shrimp or not, you married him, you had a child by him, you, you know, you was about crazy if you thought he was going to get a shrimp to somebody else. So, yeah, I ain't really feeling that. But, y'all, the, the $7,000... I'm going to be honest, I'm really not understanding, so I'm going to need y'all to jump in the comments and explain that. Or, you know, like I said, I could ask, but I don't want to agitate the situation by getting Latruth involved and asking him and things like that. But she says it's for Latruth's car. For some reason, the, the car was $7,000. Brianna wanted to pay for it on PayPal, so Ayana fronted the $7,000. Once the car transaction went through someone disputed whether you know ayana saying it could have possibly been the truth or brianna i do not know and i'm not pushing no narrative on that but i'm not understanding why it was disputed and then two why it was disputed that's really the biggest thing but if it got disputed and the dispute was lost and the money was taken it is ayana seven thousand dollars that was lost so she said till this day She's in the negative with PayPal, which will affect her credit long term. So and she said that she didn't move on with, you know, going to court and stuff like that because, you know, the court system is very aggravating, y'all. But I don't know, seven racks and we not friends no more. I think I would have had to get that up off of you. I'm sorry, but y'all let me know if I'm wrong feeling that way. But y'all who are privy to this information, explain to me why someone would either, even want to pay for a car on paypal or is ayana just saying that's simply where she had her money at so she went and withdrew the money from paypal i don't really understand that but it sounds like some sneaky fraud type stuff for real for me x y and z right so in january boom january last year okay we go to la she is mean as fuck in la okay when i say mean so I don't know. She was at the time she was dealing with the pastor's right hand man, John Trill Martin, and I don't know. They was arguing the whole time to the point where I had to get, you know, I had it was to John Trill Martin, y'all. Arguments at some points, so I don't know if she was just upset and pissed off off of that the whole trip to where she was taking it out on me. But she was mean, body shaming me, and I told her all of this, so this is nothing new. Okay, I sent her a long message and explained this to her that you was being very mean. Your spirit was very mean and nasty. And one thing about me, I'm not gonna be anywhere to where I don't feel welcome. So I did change my sight and I did leave her in LA. She told all her friends that I left her there and I didn't care about her safety and you know I just left her there and I just didn't she could have got kidnapped and all of that and this that, and the other. But I'm not gonna be nowhere to where I feel like I'm spiritually suffocated because that's what I felt in LA. Like I was spiritually suffocated. Some of the stuff she had said, she probably don't remember, little slick comments, you know, calling me fat, this, that, and other. It was just very uncomfortable. You can't you can't sit up here and body shame nobody when you've had your body done three times. That don't make sense to me. I don't care. Now, when I get my body done, which I do want to do, because I'm, I'm going to be very honest, baby, I want to get rid of the good, okay? Y'all see it? I want this in my butt. I don't have to lie, okay? I want it there. And I can't wait.
quick to go, okay? I don't try to go. My iron was too low. But the fact that you was body shaming me and just spiritually just being mean, like, it was just a very, I, she never acted like that. And I text her that and I told her that. I say, I've never seen this side of you before. Now, I don't see it for her other friends. She don't, I know all their business. I know everything they don't need in their life, child. They this, that, and the other. I don't need that. But like, for me, she never did that with me. And so that's why I left. And I told her, I said, listen, I couldn't stay in that room with you because of how you was acting toward me and how you just was, this, it was like, I was like, somebody was biting my chest and just like sucking, spiritually sucking the life out of me when I was around her. So I left. I ain't even had, y'all ain't gonna lie, I ain't even had the money to change my flight. Baby, I came up with that money. Please come get me. I, could, I couldn't stay in LA. I couldn't stay there. So I left. I left in peace. I didn't go on live to talk about it. I didn't go on social media to talk about it. I said nothing. I get calls. I want to say a day or two later. Um, Kayla was on here because she's one of the people that called me. She was on here. I get calls. People like, oh, she went alive. She said she sent you home. You're Aggie. It was annoying. This and the other. Mind you, the people called me, I didn't answer the phone. And I was laughing. Now, if you know me, I have anxiety, okay? I laugh. That's just my coping mechanism when I'm dealing with stuff, whether it's hurtful, painful. I just laugh until I can process it. That is just how I deal with things, okay? So when they caught me, they're like, your friend talking about you. She said she sent you home. I immediately started laughing. Because I'm like, wait a minute, I got my own place. Take it back. I scraped up this money. I had to, I probably had to send a booty pic for this money. I don't remember. But uh, then nobody sent me home. So I was laughing because I'm like, what? No, I know she ain't get on here and tell y'all that. And why you even on here saying something anyway? Because at this point, we had a little disagreement, but I didn't think it was like that, where you got to tell everybody on here and say you sent me home because I was annoying or angry or whatever. Like, that was crazy to me. So I sent her a message. And I was like, oh, and I still defended her. Okay, I still had a text message. Them people, after I got up, them people talk to me and they said she, you know, she's talking about you online, this and the other. I said, send me the proof. That's what I told them. And I said, nah, she ain't do that. But in the back of my head, I'm also like, nobody would have known I left LA unless she did. Because I didn't say nothing. I don't even think I posted on my story. You know what I'm saying? So something had to be said to where these people know that I left LA. So I sent her a message and I was like, listen. Um, y'all would have to find all this stuff because this is just an inner spur in the moment, okay? I just have enough energy to do this right now. But I sent her a message and I was just like, hey, um, I don't know why you weren't allowed to talk about me. You could have said it to me. Da, 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 da. I told her, them people called me. They the ones told me you said it. I told her exactly how the conversation went because one thing about me, I don't have to lie to nobody. Anybody can say it once. I can say it to the next person. One second. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all. Let's stop right here. I'm going to let it play while she's talking to River, her little baby. So she's talking about a trip that they went to L.A. She went with Brianna, I guess, for, she said, Fashion Week maybe or something to New York. I think that's what I heard. But she said that Okay, sorry. Brianna's spirit there was off. She said Brianna was being certified mean girl. And this is her friend. She really didn't, you know, have the money like that to be moving around. But she found the money to go. Once she seen that Brianna was just on one, she did not sp feel spiritually comfortable continuing to stay there. She said Brianna even body shamed her. This is all alleged, y'all, but this is what Ayana is saying. And she said that she reached out back home and got someone to send her a ticket or money for a ticket so she could fly back home. But she thought she was flying back home on her own cognizance, meaning I feel uncomfortable. I feel like I'm bothering you and you really... I don't know what you want, so I'm going to just go home and figure it out. But she say, once she left, Brianna told everybody she was annoying, she was aggy, and she tried to flip it like maybe she told a girl to leave or something, but then said, I guess, you left me up there, my safety was at risk, all type of fugazi stuff, but... Ooh, child, it's like you really don't know your friends until you either live with somebody, travel with somebody, have to split a bill or something with somebody... You find out how people really are, like, but let's continue, y'all. And again, I'm going to make this video in parts, so y'all going to see me. I'm, I'm probably not going to say anything. It's just going to stop, and then I'm going to, a few hours later, schedule a part two, then a part three, and then a part so on, because we're already 38 minutes in, but shit, we, we grabbing the tea. So, um, yeah, it was, uh, we came back, and I was just like, sit down, I was just like, you know, I didn't 
I haven't said nothing about you about these people called me. I told her the whole conversation. We broke it down. She said, well, we have to finish filming. So let's just get over this. We got to finish filming because we had started filming in L.A. Oh, let's talk about that, too. And I'm going to be a little bit all over the place, y'all, because I didn't write nothing down. I'm just speaking of experience, okay? Why was one in L.A.? Okay, because I found out later on that she told people that I was I left because I was upset, upset that I could not attend the red carpet event that um, Janelle was at. Hold on, y'all. My cousin here. Let me open the door for him. She also said Brianna told her friends that Ayana was just mad because she left L.A. because she so, did, uh, couldn't be a part of the yeah, red so carpet she, event. Later on, this is what she was telling her friends was that I was upset that I could not attend this red carpet event. So when I packed to go to L.A., I packed to be comfortable. I packed to work. I was nice on camera, okay? That was my goal. I was not going there for no event. I was not going there to go. Go there, you know, um, for anything other than to work. My goal, she asked me to come, to come there to work. I even canceled two clients that I had that week, two boho clients where I was going to make $1,000 because she said she was going to pay me for that. Did not get paid for whatever. It is what it is. I went there to work, okay? I brought comfortable stuff, sweatpants, leggings, pullovers. That was my job. Um, I didn't care to go anywhere or anything like that, right? So um, we get there. She To the point to where she was like, let's go shopping. You need some more clothes. So that's where part of the whole... Oh, I bought you, when she sent me a nasty message, um, I bought you clothes because you couldn't fit nothing. I, I was dressed and comfortable anyways. She had to go get me something to wear because she wanted me to go to the red carpet event, which I told her I did not care to go. I said, Brianna, this trip is about you. Dang, I keep saying her name, so I'm not trying to say the girl's name. I said, this trip is about you. You know what I'm saying? You need to go. I could be anywhere else. I don't have to attend. One thing about me, I'm from Atlanta, baby. A lot of these celebrities, we don't been in the sandbox together. We don't grow up together. So I've never been starstruck over no celebrity. Okay, I don't live in Midtown, I don't live next to them, they don't been at my house, I don't been at their house. I've never, a celebrity don't impress me, I'm from Atlanta, where a lot of celebrities are made, I don't been around them my whole life. They know me, Red, AB, I don't wrote for artists, I have been in the studio with people, not no D-list celebrities, A-list celebrities, you get what I'm saying? This is the history. Another thing, never been lying, okay, I've been Who is Ayana uh, implying that is a D-list celebrity? I'm just asking. But y'all, she's saying that, y'all hear what she's saying about the trip and stuff. Like, she brought comfortable clothes. Brianna said she couldn't fit nothing, so she wanted to get new clothes. But she wanted her to get new clothes so she could go to the red carpet event. But then I guess earlier she told her friends that she, that Ayana left because she wasn't invited to the red carpet event, which was for Janelle, y'all. But she's saying that's not true. That's not how it happened at all. But she left because she was being disrespected. Captain, I've been first year. I played the saxophone. Nobody could beat me. So, like, the fame stuff and this ego stuff, I've been that girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, and, and I'm not, I'm bragging, but I am. Like, for people to say, oh, you're jealous, you want to, I ain't never want to be like nobody. I wasn't lame growing up. I'm not lame now. No matter how much money I have and don't have, baby, I'm always rich in spirit, rich in personality, and whatever the case, if y'all want to do the history. Okay. Um. Anyways. Um, so yeah, so that LA happened. So she was telling people that I was upset that I couldn't attend the event. That was not the case. The case was simply you was being me. That that just was the bottom line. I don't know what spirit had was was attached to you. Uh while we was in LA, what spirit was was had launched onto you, but it was a very energy vampire, um, spiritually draining spirit. And I that is why I left. Okay. There was nothing other than that. So um I ended up coming back, boom, boom, boom. You know, we got in a fight when we won't send a message. Okay, so then the, the Valentine's Day thing happened. I'm trying to remember everything. Valentine's Day happened. Okay. There was no billboard. For people asking, we did not see the billboard. We get there, the billboard is blank. We were told that. She's on pause, y'all. Woo. This is a lot to unravel, y'all. She had. Uh -uh.
Sorry, y'all. My family over here, because y'all know I just moved in. They just being loud. They just being loud. Okay, I'm in chicken room. Y'all, y'all see her room? I can't wait to get it together. Okay, so, um, yeah, so that's, that's what happened with that. Valentine's Day was very weird. Dawn was there. Um, I can't remember everybody who was there. Night was there. But, y'all, the energy was weird. It was so weird. This happened in February, okay? February 14th. We went there on exactly Valentine's Day. The energy was just very weird for me. Like I said, I was not used to that. This shift happened toward the end of the year to where everything, like, I just started to feel a shift and just the, just, the, just the energy, okay? So, I end up leaving Valentine's Day. They can attest. I left first. I left early because, once again, I don't like being places to where I feel drained. I am a discerning individual. I see things. God gives me different gifts. So, I am sensitive. I can go in the store, I can see somebody, and I can know exactly what that lady is going through, and I would pray for her. Anybody I ever see with an affliction, my automatic response is to pray for them, okay? I've been praying for this girl for the whole year and a half. Like, I have. I, I don't want her to experience what she's going through. So, anyways, the Valentine's Day happened. Um, I ended up leaving Valentine's Day, but it was just very weird. Like, energy, I could feel it, okay? So, then I think after that was the girl's day, the girl's night. Now, at the time the girl's night happened, I had a lot going on. Y'all have to understand, for months prior to then, I was fully committed to making sure my friend was okay. I was showing up at her house. I was helping with the kids, you know, nine or two. But I was there. I was helping her. I was trying to make sure she was okay. I was using some of my last dollars, baby. I had to talk to my baby dad to get gas money because I wasn't asking her for no gas money because I was driving 45 minutes to her house every day there and back from my baby daddy. I had to ask that man. And y'all want to say I'm just using her. Like, be for real. I was making stuff happen behind the scenes without having to ask her for anything. And she didn't know none of that. But I was making moves on behind the scenes on her behalf, praying on my knees for nights, laboring, fasting on her behalf, talking friend. to God like crazy on her behalf. God, please help my friend. I hate my friend going through this guy. I mean, I know everything, God, but I heal her heart, God. Heal the things she don't talk about to me. This, this, this was me laboring. And I know none of them other people was doing that. I'm talking about fasting up and down. Up at night, I'm waking up at 3 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, praying for my friend, okay? Sending her long prayers, texting her long messages. But once again, at this time, I was blinded, okay? So, boom, I'm coming to her house from all the months. So this is a little time that I need for me. Because I haven't even had time to get my life together because I'm committed to, I'm making sure you don't go over the edge, I don't even have time to get my life together. And the one more, one time that I said, I need to step back to make sure my life is together. She probably got upset. I'm the villain. Now I am the villain. And I think that is sick. Um, I'm about to use this so I can hold this one. Ooh, hold on, y'all. I was the villain. So she had the girls' night. I did not go to girls' night because, like I said, I was already around all the friends and all of that. For February, and it was weird to me. I didn't want to, I'm not putting myself through that again. I, one thing about me, I don't care who you is, I ain't putting myself in no situations to where I feel uncomfortable. Y'all can have that. I will be at home every day for the rest of my life and feel uncomfortable around people just to say I'm around somebody. So, um, the girls might have been, and I think she, mind you, at this point, we were still, oh, 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 oh. So, the LA thing, she messaged me when she was in LA, right? Because I think, I want to say I had blocked her, I don't really know. But she messaged me and was like, I made you. Something like that. She made me or something. I can't remember the exact words, but it was along the line. Like, you are who you are because of me. And you know what? In January, I should have just... That should have been it. But I give people too much grace. But she said that to me, and it stuck with me. Hold on, y'all. One of the gang is constantly liking something on my Instagram, which is fine, but... I have three phones, y'all, as I probably explained. This phone, is I don't know how to turn the volume down anymore because it's its just crazy in the back. I'm filming on my good phone, and then my other phone, y'all seen the other day, that had the line in the middle, is in the back. So I need Lil Papa to take a break from liking all my stuff on Instagram. But y'all, pretty much, uh, Brianna got upset because she was doing a girl's night out. And Ayana had to decline because she said that she'd been taking care of Brianna for months. And she ain't been taking care of her own affairs. Y'all know how when time come home to roast, time be like, you got this going on, you got that going on. But unfortunately, the one time that she had to say no, 
Rihanna did not understand and, and became upset with her. Um, you have the right to. Hold on, let me see if I can just log off of this page and maybe you'll. I still gonna get it. 